I, I want to sort of segue or pivot here towards this other part here. You, you uh, in your article f- um, on Russiagate, you write, uh, the Trump administration had been executing a no, no-hold-barred attack on virtually every environmental and safety regulation of the last 50 years, including those pertaining to clean air, clean water, and endangered species, with virtually no news coverage or pushback. These actions with very real consequences, potentially including extinction. Um, it is possible that some species of plants or animals might die uh, from this planet because the DNC and the corporate media choose uh, chose to focus on a conspiracy theory instead of the very real policies of the Trump administration. Um, and you say, yeah, it makes you very livid, understandably. So you're you're saying that while everyone is so or the media is fixating so much on the drama of the Trump administration, the whole Russia Gate narrative, the Mueller investigation, the impeachment, the whole thing, while all that is going on, Trump has been actively dismantling whatever environmental regulations exist in this country. Uh, could you speak to that a bit? Like what has exactly been lost? as far as environmental regulations and what are the real impacts that that's having on national parks or just just the United States, just the actual geography, the land itself. What have you observed? Right. Um, well, try if you try to get into this subject uh, and be like, okay, so what is everything that, that Trump has been doing and, and is doing and is planning? Um, it's overwhelming. I mean, the, the the New York Times has an article where they list 95 different regulations that the the, the Trump administration has gone after, uh, as relates to the to the environment. You know, um, so it's it's a huge list. You know, um, but definitely the the national the, the Endangered Species Act is is part of it. Like they're making it much much more difficult to add anything to the national um, to, to to the to the Endangered Species Act. Um, when it comes to the Clean Air and Clean Water Act, there's been headlines that have flitted through that people have seen that have, that have shown how they're 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 gutting these things. Um, I mean, they're gutting uh, meat inspection. If I were a meat eater, um, and I I don't eat domestic uh, farm animal meat, but if but if I did, I'd I'd want to switch to a local farmer or something at this point because there's basically going to be no inspections. I mean, oh, Jesus. You know, yeah, and, and you know that, and that, and that's a minor one compared to you know to the to the endangered species. You know, like the fact that that you know all the 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 grizzly bears and the wolves, you know, are are two species that are losing their protections at this point. Who are who are creatures? Those are species that are also very close to the to the edge. You know, like there's just not there's not that there's not that many of them left. You know, so I mean, I'm not even going to try to 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 list everything that's been happening just just to be that like wow. It's it's overwhelming. It's serious. There's been nothing like this that's happened in our lifetimes. You know, there's been uh, there's been some attacks that happened by Reagan, by you know, by well, by every president. I mean, Clinton was terrible for the for the for the um, old growth forests. You know, in particular. You know, um, uh, people don't like to, to 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 hear about it, but of course, you know, under Obama's ran the um, fossil fuel production in the United States hit uh, a, a peak that it hadn't seen since the early 70s, you know, and, 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 and most of that's being exported, you know, and because it's being exported, it doesn't, it doesn't count as being part of our carbon footprint, right? Which is some BS accounting. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they always, they always try to pull shenanigans like that, right? Yeah. Right, right. Oh, oh, no, it doesn't. No, the, 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 you know, the, oh, we're going to frack all this stuff out of the ground. And then when it burns and like the carbon, uh, no, that's not our carbon. No, no, that's not ours. Well, yes, of course that's ours. Like we could have left that in the ground. I mean, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, like the, 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 the number of like, like, I think most people also don't realize that, that most of the environmental, um, regulations that we have date back to only date back about 50 years right to the to the to the nixon administration surprisingly that's when a lot of them happened uh he was getting a lot of pressure uh from people and so in uh a, a, a you know a somewhat cynical bid to get more votes to try to peel off votes from the democrats he um did uh, approve of all these different legislations you know like the 
the um, the EPA was came into being under Nixon, the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Inv- the Endangered Species Act. I mean, you know, all these things came into being under under him. You know, uh, and 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 basically all of those were in force pretty much in a in a in a in, in a in in their kind of their heyday was the 70s and the 80s you know and then under reagan the assault the assault on them started you know and every president has assaulted them in one way or the other and almost no positive uh movement has happened since then anyway so there's been this sort of gradual loss that we've been experiencing over the last you know, 30 to 40 years, which has accelerated alarmingly under the last two or three here, where he's basically just, you know, okay, here's, if you can, if you picture it as a table, you know, with all this stuff set up on it uh, and, you know, everything in place, he's basically just wiping everything off of the table, you know, there, 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 there will be almost nothing holding anyone back at this point, you know, from, 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 from doing anything, you know, I mean, what he wants to do in the Arctic, what he wants to do in the Tongass National Forest. I mean, for God's sake, he was talking about wanting to chip away at protections for the for the sequoias in the Sierra. What well, nobody's for that. You know? <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> you know, but 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 there's no attention. There's there's almost no attention happening for these issues, you know? I mean, people haven't been paying attention to the fact that we've been losing these protections for the last 40 years anyway. Now they're not paying attention to the fact that they're being taken away entirely at this point because mostly because Russia, you know what I mean? And then impeachment. And now, I mean, it's just, it's been, it's been really frustrating because, because a lot of this is just what, you know, Chris Hedges calls palace intrigue, you know? I mean, most of Russiagate was palace intrigue. Here's this name. Here's that name. Here's this connection. Here's that connection. And I watched all sorts of people getting really into that, you know? I mean, I actually lost some friends, including a couple of in real life friends over the Russia thing, because they decided to take it up entirely. And now they hate Assange and all this. And it's like, (laughs) you know, it was just like, it was so, it was so terrible. It's, I mean, I think that also what's going on here in a general sense is the fact that in general, as a rule, and of course there's exceptions, but in general, as a rule, people in cities in the United States don't know what's going on in the rest of the of the United States. They don't know what's going on in the countryside or in the wilderness. They have they just they're not aware of it. You know what I mean? They're 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 aware of what's going on in their life, you know, and and I also understand that, you know, because just about every city's been getting gentrified at this point, you know, and the fact that 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 you know, your wage buys you less than it once did. I understand the pressures of life, you know, and all that thing. And yet at the same time, uh, there is a certain amount of attention that everyone does give to their media. And this media is not telling them about what's happening to the environment. This media is not telling them about the cost of their lifestyles at all. You know, like, I mean, you know, the, the largest single land use in the United States, you know, is animal agriculture, you know, acreage wise, you know, I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is a, this is a big deal. That this is going on, you know, I mean, uh, agriculture in general has has a tremendous uh, uh, ecological footprint that that we're not questioning, you know, that we're not that we're not looking at, you know, at all, you know, uh, we're not looking at the effects of, of of the renewable energy projects, you know, they go into the desert and they clear all this land of every single thing that lives there, and they put all these solar panels up. It's like, well, that's not good for the environment. That's not green, you know. I mean, well, it speaks to the, I guess a certain amount of ignorance because people don't realize that deserts are ecosystems. They think they're just these right. empty spaces where you can do whatever the hell you want with them, right? And that's not true at all. That one goes back a long time too. The Greek word for desert was the same as the word for lonely. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So okay. That one, that one, that's pre-capitalist, pre-US. That's like that's a Western civilization thing. There, that's an agricultural mindset right there, which looks at the desert. It's like, oh, well, I can't grow stuff here. It must be not be good for anything. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a very human-centric uh, point of view. 